So this is the wig we'll be working with. It is a 24 inch unit deep wave from We Shine Reshine Hair. I parted it on the side, but I don't think I'm going to keep it on the side. But I'm just showing you guys what the unit looks like. So first things first, we're going to be using Erica J's products. I'm super excited to be using these products. I actually already used the glue and I like it, but I didn't wear the wig that long, so I can't really give you guys a full review. So today, I'm going to be putting the wig on, showing you guys everything, because when I did wear the glue, I didn't show you guys. I had just put a wig on because I was kind of in a rush, but I got the smallest bottle. I think this is the smallest bottle. I didn't know that it was going to be this small. I was under the impression that it would be like the standard size of like the Ghost Bond glue, which is right here. So this is the Ghost Bond glue. And then this is Erica J's glue. So if you can see, it's it's quite a significant difference, but not going to blame that on her because she offers different sizes. I just wasn't reading, and I just got the cheapest one, which this was thirteen ninety nine. So we're going to go in with this, and I have a curly wig that I'm going to be wearing today. So we're going to also try out her um, fluff stuff styling foam, and it looks like this. And I believe this was $14.99. So I have a very, very low hairline. So I have to go in very close to my hairline and apply the glue. And I always do the technique that Erica do. I don't just put a little layer of glue. I always go pretty far back on my stocking cap just to ensure that I will have a, you know, a good hold. dry and then I'm going to go in with like one more thinner layer just to make sure everything's going to stick really good and one thing I learned from Erica is that you cannot be scared to use the glue like some people be like oh my god that's so much glue you're not gonna have no edges that's not true I have all my edges like that's not true you just have to know how to apply the glue so don't be scared to use the glue because the glue is what's going to help your wig stay for weeks after weeks after weeks you know if your wig is lifting up after two days nine times out of ten you're not using enough glue so, so for the most part the glue was dry but we're just going to pop the wig on because i did the layers kind of thick so it couldn't dry evenly but like i said this is a deep wave unit i did pluck it and bleach it and tint the lace it did come pre-plucked so you don't even have to pluck it if you don't want to you can just you know wear the hairline that they gave you because it wasn't bad at all but i did go in and do a little bit of extra plucking okay so i definitely have to say the wig is feeling really really tight on my head and that is because of the glue the glue was still just a little bit white when I put the wig on, but I think it's because I didn't do my layers as, you know, thin down as I should have, but it dried clear. Everything looks really, really good. And like I said, I'm sorry if y'all hear that, it's raining. 
but the lace on this wig is so good it's like super thin easy to work with so now i'm just gonna go in and cut the lace off and then i'll be right back So between the glue and this lace, I don't I don't know who's doing it for me, but baby, the lace is melted. It's on my head. It ain't going nowhere. Originally, I thought I was gonna do a side part with this wig, so I tried to do a little baby part, but girl, bye. This wig is only four inches deep, so I may just have to do a middle part because I don't like no little parts. But I do want to do baby hairs. Now, if you're not new to my channel, you know that pff, this just scared me. <laughs> you know that I'm not really big on baby hairs because I don't really know how to do them. But I have Erica's mousse, so we're going to give it a try. But yeah, I think I'm going to just stick to the middle part with this wig. Since I really don't have all that much parting space. So, I'm not really sure what happened to the clip of me actually parting my hair and doing the baby hairs, but the mousse was pretty good. I like to work with something with more of a thicker consistency, but it still got the job done. Right now, I'm just plucking the part to open up the part a little bit more because I do like a wider part. So, that's all I'm doing right here. Like I said, I really do like this wig. I thought it was really cute. The only thing I didn't like is that... It only had four inches of parting space, and I personally like a deeper part. But other than that, everything was good. I'm just hot combing the top to make sure everything is flat and lays flat. So I just put a little bit of the mousse on the hair because I still wanted it to be big. I didn't want to put a whole bunch of water on it and make it all weighed down. So I decided not to. Right now I'm just going to go in and fix my part just a little bit. Put some of the powder from my face on it just to make it look a little bit more natural and yeah y'all this is the hairstyle i like the way it came out i would definitely recommend this hair and i would definitely recommend trying out erica's hair glue because it worked really really well if you like this style make sure you like share and subscribe and make sure you check the description box if you are interested in this hair i'll see you guys in my next video